What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video, and today I have some Reese's Puffs gameplay for you guys, so Randy and I decided to play Reese's Puffs, and this was the first time all year I've played it, because I never wake up early on the weekend, so since I was up I decided may as well play it since it's double rep and double BC. And Randy and I did not lose any games at all while we were playing Rhesus. As you can see, the guys who we were playing against were not all that great. Right here, I'm going to drive in. He doesn't jump, so I pass out to Randy, set him a nice screen, and this guy gets stuck on the screen. Randy's going to pass to me for the mid-range, and I'm going to green it while tired. And when Randy and I were playing, I actually shot lights out. I was shooting much better than I normally do. I don't know why, because I didn't change my jump shot. And I haven't played Park in a while either, so I thought I would shoot much worse, but Randy and I were shooting much better than we normally did. In this next play, Randy had a nice cut, so I passed to him, he got a nice fadeaway layup animation, and I did end up getting takeover. But I didn't show any of the takeover clips because I just pushed my guy. And right here, I hit a heavily contested post fade. I really don't understand how because earlier in the game, I had a full bar post fade open that I missed. But I can hit heavily contested. I really don't understand it. This game's kind of inconsistent with that. But anyway, we're going to win the first game. And in our second game, I'm going to do a nice hop in between the two defenders. I really love doing hop layups because I feel like it creates a ton of space. In this next play, Randy and I ran a pick and roll, and it took me forever to roll, so that left Randy with a wide open three, and he actually did miss it, but I do end up getting the rebound and getting the putback, and that let me get takeover, and with takeover against guards, this build is unstoppable. Right here, Randy's gonna give me the ball. I'm trying to break this guy's ankles, but he's kind of behind me, but once he does get in front of me, he's gonna fall to the ground. I get a nice reverse dunk, and these guys could not hold me. It was partially because they were guards, and partially because their defense was trash. But anyway, as you can see, we're going to win the second game. Going into the third game, I'm going to hit this guy with a nice post hop shot. That should have been green, but I'll take it. If it goes in, it goes in. Right here, I'm going to get double teamed. Pass out to Randy. He's going to hit a wide open three. He's actually going to green it. And we are up 14-0. to These guys were so bad, especially their guard. Because in this play, he kind of got open. He got a little bit of space because Randy double teamed. But he does end up taking the shot and Randy closes out. And also his defense is so bad, he leaves Randy wide open to green the three. So we're up 17 to three at this point. This guy's trying to guard me, but I'm going to do a crossover behind the back and get a nice dunk to get takeover. And to end the game, he's going to sit in the paint. So I'm going to drive in and get the nice poster to end the game. And going into this third game, this guy in the gray was not moving. Randy didn't think the guy in the black was going to double team. So he does miss, but I do get the rebound. I put the layup back up. And after that, we did hit another three-pointer. So at this point, we're up 8-0. to zero, And watch this play. I'm going to do a post-speed boost, do a flashy pass to Randy Cutting, and he's going to get an open dunk. Just like that, we were up 10-0. to zero, And I just got takeover. I just bodied everyone, passed out to Randy. So we did end up winning that game. Going into game number four, Randy's going to hit me. I'm going to shoot the open midi. And like I was saying before, I was shooting lights out. I don't know how, but anyway, he's going to get a nice cut. I'm going to pass to him. I'm going to get an open midi, and I'm going to hit it. For some reason, these guys decided to double team me and leave Randy wide open for three. He does miss the three, but I'm going to get the rebound. Pass back, and he's actually going to hit this three. So we were up 10-0 to zero at this point. I'm going to hit him again, set him a nice screen, and they do double team, so they're going to leave me open. I'm going to green the mid-range. And these guys actually did get the ball back from us. They did score once, and then this guy decided to cut. So Randy's going to get the easy steal. And he did have his playmaking takeover, so I gave the ball to him, let him ISO. He's going to get this guy jumping once, get the other guy jumping, and this guy does end up reaching, but Randy's going to pass to me. I'm going to green the mid-range, and I get takeover as well. So we did turn the ball over once again, but this guy's going to take a horrible shot. Randy's going to get the rebound. I'm going to fake the shot, pass back out to Randy, and he's going to hit the deep three. And to end the game, Randy's just going to give it to me. He doesn't have takeover anymore, but I do. This guy's reaching. I post up, get both defenders on me, pass to Randy for the wide open three. He's going to green it, and we did win that game. We were on a big streak. Nobody could really play defense on us. As you can see, I get the nice 360 dunk. And this guy, once again, cannot play defense. He's going to jump super early. I'm going to get him with the deep post hop shot mid-range. And Randy did get takeover from all of his scoring and assist to me. He's going to sauce up his guy, green the three. He's also going to get double teamed right here, but it doesn't matter. He's just going to pass to me, open corner three. I'm going to hit it. We're up 17-0. to He gets this guy jumping not once, not twice, three times. Then he's going to drive past him for the open dunk. We're up 19-0, to and these guys could not hold either of us. Right here, they just gave up. Randy's going to green the deep three for the game, and we do win 22-0. to in this next game, Randy wanted to ISO a little bit, so I just sat in the corner. And this guy that I was guarding, he was just spamming square. Right here, he decides to jump. I have no idea why, but anyway, I got him jumping right there. 
I'm gonna hit the layup. I don't know what type of defense he was playing. He was playing me way to the right, so I just drove to the left for the easy dunk. Right here, once again, he's gonna let me get an easy dunk and let me get takeover. So at this point, we both have takeover. So I just decided to end the game with a flashy dunk. And in the next game, this brown shirt pulled up with a different team at this time. Once again, he can't guard me. He's jumping so early, just spamming triangle, spamming square. I don't know what he's doing on defense, but whatever it is, it's not working. Right here, Randy and I are going to run a pick and roll. They both defend him. I'm going to get a wide open reverse dunk. Next play, he's going to give it to me. This guy can't play defense once again. I don't know what his deal is, but he has no idea how to play defense. I'm going to get him right here with a jab step, get a nice windmill dunk. We're up 15 to zero. We did hit two quick twos after that, and Randy did shoot the ball because the shot clock was low. He did miss. I give it back to him. He's gonna hit a three, and we're gonna 20 to 0 this team. Going into the next game, I don't remember what archetype Randy was guarding, but I was guarding this seven foot three post scorer, and for some reason he thought he could make that layup on me, and he also thought he could guard me, and that is not the case. I'm gonna get a nice dunk. Randy's gonna get an open three right here. He is gonna miss, but I am gonna get the board. And I'm just going to lay it up because this guy was just spamming triangle, just like every other defender pretty much. Right here, the guy Randy was on, he decided to take that layup. Don't know why, but they were just taking horrible layups all game. Their defense was horrible. I don't know why they double teamed me, left Randy wide open. He's going to hit the deep three, and I almost have takeover. And this dude just pulls a mid-range and breaks the heck out of it. Don't know why he even shot it. He's a 7-3 pure post. His three-pointer and mid-range are probably both in the 40s or 50s. But anyway, Randy's going to get a nice cut here. He's going to get blocked, and he can't even get the rebound because he gets put in that weird animation. But it still is our ball. And to end these guys off, I'm going to go in the post. Randy's going to run to the corner. I'm going to pass to him. He's going to do a fake pass, get his guy jumping, pull the wide open mid range, and that's going to be the game. And this screenshot right here was taken after the first game we played. So we actually did start out with 1,068 wins and 499 L's. And then we ended up going on a 21 game win streak. As you can see, we went from 1,068 wins to 1,089 wins. As you can see, we still have 499 losses. And if you guys want to see gameplay of the rest of the win streak, make sure to get this video to 20 likes. I would really appreciate it if you guys could do that. And also, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.